Fight! I hate to admit it, but when it comes to new consoles, the first set of games to show off the console's true power are often sports games. With them usually having such a small playing field, it allows the developers to really push the player models and add a level of detail that bigger, more open world games can rarely compete with, at least at the start of a console's lifespan. When Madden 64 by EA landed on the Nintendo 64, it wasn't the showpiece sports games that football fans had been hoping for. Very much like FIFA 64, it seemed to have been quickly put together to be the first on the console to snag early adopters who were eager for their pigskin fix. A year later though, and seemingly out of nowhere, Acclaim threw their hat into the mix with NFL Quarterback Club 98, developed by Iguana, the same studio responsible for Turok, and upon its release people quickly took notice. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you'll know just how much I loved N64 magazine back in the day. But my first sight of NFL Quarterback Club actually came on television. I saw a segment of it during a gaming TV show and I couldn't believe just how amazing the game looked. That's because the entire game runs in a high res mode of 640x480 without the use of the expansion pack. What made this more interesting was that critics had said this mode couldn't work in a sports game because it would slow everything down to a crawl. Thankfully though, Acclaim proved them all wrong. While the 3D models of the players are not quite as good as Madden, NFL Quarterback Club 98 pretty much nails every other graphical element. The animations are detailed and fluid, the shadows and real-time lighting is superb, and when the weather gets cold you can even see the breath of your players coming from the helmets. It's small details like this that draw you into the game, but without the gameplay being up to speed it would never have been a success. Thankfully this is also another of the game's strong aspects. The full NFL license is used in the game so all of the teams, players, stadiums and stats are all present. Add to this support for the Rumble Pack and you do get a game which plays as well as it looks. There are some drawbacks though. The overall game speed is a tad slower than Madden. Personally though I take the impressive bumping graphics for a slightly slower game. And secondly whilst the AI is good, it's not on the same level as Madden 64. In Madden it almost felt as if each player had their own mindset and ideas. In Quarterback Club 98, it felt that the entire team were thinking as one which can lead to some frustrating moments in the dying moments of matches. And finally, the sound is well done, but again Madden takes the crown this time around. With Madden, I just felt there was a little bit more depth to the audio, and the tackles and calls all sounded a little more polished. Here Marv Albert does the play-by-play -play and other voiceovers, but he never sounds comfortable in the game, and everything tends to come across a little dull and lacking any passion. Perhaps my favourite feature of Quarterback Club though is the ability to relive classic moments in history. Like the ISS series, you can pick a situation or scenario and you're given an overview of what's happening. You then pick up the game at a critical point and you must do all you can to overcome adversity. There's also the ability to make your own, so once you've completed all of the situations in the game, you can create your own, save it to a memory card and let your friends play them on their consoles. It's hard for me to get excited about an American football game being just a casual fan, but for those of you watching across the pond I'd love to know what your impressions were of this game from way back in the day. Did you trade in Madden to pick this up on launch day, or did you stick to Madden for its smoother and slightly quicker gameplay? As always let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and until next time.